Right, welcome ladies and gents. For those that have been following the channel for some time, you'd all be aware that I have uh, I've been following Todd McFarlane's Spawn reboot remake for a little while now. So much so that, you know, I, I managed to get a hold of the script that was written by himself. Uh, it was absolutely atrocious. It was awful. Did a video on that. I'll, I'll leave it linked above somewhere. Uh, it was so bad, Spawn was essentially a floating fart for the majority of the time. And he also became a bed as well. It was far from the Spawn that I'm sure you guys would like to see on the screen. Now, Todd McFarlane has been threatening this Spawn reboot slash remake for some time. And many, many false starts, many false promises. Later, he is now threatening that if Blumhouse doesn't get this movie up and running this year, 2024, because we finally made it, I guess, to 2024, that he'll do it independently. Yes, that's right. The multi-millionaire Todd McFarlane would actually put his own money down, finally, to a movie that he wants to make. Now, obviously, I say he wants to make, he obviously did want to make it and he's wanted to make it for some time. It's always been an interesting sort of turn of events why he's never bothered to do it in independently because he has plenty of cash. Uh, in fact, he does most of the things via crowdfunding and I'm sure he'll probably go down that road as well, even for this. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think people will sort of pay up their money and then they'll get a product for it and hey, good for them. I don't see any issue with crowdfunding. Um, however, it's always been interesting how he wanted to go into the Hollywood system but not play by their rules. And what I mean by that is he wanted to direct this film himself. He wanted to write this film himself. And this is a chap that isn't a writer or a director at all. Now, some people will point to his music video directing. A little bit different. That's a little bit different. And he's not a screenwriter. And that was very, very evident by uh, his script that did the rounds. Again, I would have tried to leave it linked above. You can go check it out. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. So I thought we'd dive into this today because I keep doing this to myself. I keep diving into this nonsense that is uh, the Spawn reboot and remake. And uh, I love to bring you updates on it. I guess. Maybe. Although I am looking at myself now just going, why? Why am I still talking about this drivel that's clearly never going to happen? But maybe it will. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this film will happen, who knows. So here you go, look. I don't know whether this will be well received by Blumhouse. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, because it does... It's almost threatening. Now, one of the things I, I always find funny whenever I do these reports is all of this information always comes from comicbook.com. Right? He exclusively talks to comicbook.com. I have no idea why. Uh, but it is, yeah, it's ex just, he always talks to comicbook.com. It seems very, very odd. I don't know what that says about his choice of outlets or, or whatever. It's just, it's fascinating to me. But anyway, like I said, this is a headline. Can you imagine waking up as Jason Blum and this is the headline circulating? Todd McFarlane will make the movie independently if Blumhouse doesn't start produ production this year. If I, if, I was, if I was Jason Blum, I'd be reading that and going... What the fuck? You'd get straight on the phone to him, wouldn't you? You'd be like, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Why are you trying... What? Negative headlines before it's even begun. It's not what you want. In fact, it's really not what you want. It's pretty bad. So Spawn creator Todd McFarlane has shared another update. <sighs> yeah, no, one of many. Fucking hell. Uh, on plans for his big screen adaptation, revealing that if Blumhouse doesn't make good on its promise to start production this year, he'll go elsewhere. Elsewhere being himself, I presume. Well, he says outside the Hollywood machine, which would be independently, which is his himself, basically. So he, he spoke to uh, comicbook.com. McFarlane confirmed that the project still falls under the Blumhouse Productions banner and that it will get his hands on the script imminently. Well, in fact, he even, he even questions whether he's going to get the script imminently or not. And again, this is the thing. Can you imagine being Jason Blum reading this as a headline? You just put what on earth is going on? What a bizarre thing to start 2024 with. Jason Blum is one of the better ones at getting things done, he explained. Oh, good. Well, at least you started off with a backhanded compliment. He's one of the better ones. 
But then he goes on to say, They tell me I get to read the script this month. The email is going out this week to remind them that they promised me that. Isn't there a real... Like, there's massive undertones here. Jason Blum's one of the better ones at getting things done. They told me. They told me I get to read the script this month. But I'm going to send an email out to remind them. You promised me you would. Just It's a bit underhanded, isn't it? Getting some real bitchy vibes from Todd McFarlane here. Probably some low T shit going on. Uh, something's got to happen. Uh, something's going to happen, he says. I just know myself. Something's going to happen. Because if I can't figure it out inside the Hollywood system, I'll figure it out independently. I just know myself. But hopefully, we can figure out a deal that keeps all the parties that have been involved over the years involved. Do you see how that's very much... There's there's a very an air of a threat. It's, you're holding someone to ransom here. And I get it. FYI, I get it. But, Todd, you slowed it down, brother. My, like, my God, you slowed it down. You were making some obscene demands that clearly no one in their right mind was ever going to agree to. Never were people going to agree to you being the director and the writer. Absolutely no. That was an absurd demand that you made that absolutely slowed it down for the fans. But there does seem to be an air of holding things to ransom. It's like, well, no. Hopefully we can figure out a deal and hopefully people can, you know, get involved that have been involved over the years. But I'm still going to fucking go elsewhere. I'm still going to bugger off if it doesn't happen. And I get it. But where is where is the accountability on oneself there? So there you go. I mean, will we ever get this movie? My, who knows at this rate? Honestly, who knows? Who knows? Last we heard, Jamie Foxx might have been still attached, but now he's going through a lawsuit, uh, SA, actual assault uh, allegations. There's all manner of nonsense going on, and uh, Jeremy Renner was going to be a part of it. Well, I mean, he's only just getting back to work now as the uh, mayor of Kingstown, I think it is. I don't know whether he'll be able to do this kind of work or would even want to keep signing up to this. Um, but there you go, Todd McFarlane. Make some thinly veiled threats to Jason Blum. The merry-go-round of the Hollywood system continues. It's infinitely comical. Uh, and Todd McFarlane trying to get this movie up and running is infinitely comical. It has been for years. I've enjoyed following this. It's been very, very fun. Mainly just because it's clearly never going to happen. But still, it's funny. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them down below. Hit subscribe. If you're new here, guys, you want to support the channel further, you like what I do here. YouTube uh, has heavy demonetization here on this channel as well as my second channel. So consider supporting via Patreon or memberships. Would really appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much in advance for those that consider it. Anyway, cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now. <laughs>